How are you doing, folks? So uh, back with you guys, and as I said in the announcement last week, we're going to start doing announcements on a or video announcements on a bi-weekly that is every other basis, just because it doesn't seem like um, at least half of us uh, combined both classes. We have about uh, 50, 52, something like that, and so we're trending a little under half uh, viewing the videos. So I just figure maybe maybe it's not worth uh, doing these every week, and, and that's totally fine. Um, so that explains the every other week rotation with the video. So this week is our first uh, revisit our essay from the first half of the period round, okay? And what I mean by that, you know, we did our narrative, we did our descriptive, we did our argumentative persuasive, and your MLA research essay on that argumentative persuasive topic, which, by the way, will be coming back to you graded this week. Um, when you get those back, you'll see your grade, and then after that, I will go back and look at the blogs you participated in and add your uh, bonus points accordingly. So we revisit our essays in the second half. Uh, narrative is up first, and all you do for this round, this half of the uh, semester, is you add a page to your previous essay, your original uh, version, okay? You add a page and you try to make edits based on your rubric score and any comments I might have given you. Now, a lot of you guys didn't get the basic formatting right, okay? So uh, some of you have very fundamental things to change, like put it in the correct format, the paper format uh, that is in lessons and uh, in our course, and also the student examples in SCC are formatted correctly. 12 point times New Roman, double space with the MLA heading at the upper left. Uh, that's your name, my name, the course, and the date. Upper right of each page is your last name and the page number. You need an original title. Paragraphs need to be indented. Uh, all that fun stuff. So some of you just doing that is going to be a big part of your facelift, if you will, of your uh, original version. Uh, and what I do is, if you make your corrections, all the corrections, you know, according to uh, any comments, feedback, etc., uh, I will give you 100 on the redo, and that's a homework assignment. Then what I do is I take that score, 100 in this example, you're not all going to get 100 unless you actually do the, uh, the redos, according to comments and your rubric score. But let's say you get 100 on the redo. I take that 100 and I average it with your original score. Let's say you got, I don't know, a 70, okay, on your original narrative. So 70 to 100, that's 30. Uh, half of that, if we take the average, is an 85, okay? So your 70 that you got originally, I replace that 70 with your new score, an 85. So your actual permanent score for the narrative in this example uh, would be an 85 because you made all the corrections, okay? You got 100 for the assignment of doing the corrected version. The I call it the augmented, meaning enlarged. You have to add a page and edited. You fixed it. Uh, got 100 on that version, averaged it with your original score, brings you to an 85, okay? So that's how it works, okay? Um, let's say you make no change at all, okay? If you make no change at all, uh, your assignment score will be the same score you got on your original uh, essay, okay? So let's say you just give me the exact same version that you got a 70 on. Well, for the assignment, I'll give you a 70, okay, as your classwork homework assignment. And, of course, your average for the paper won't go up at all because you didn't make any changes, okay? Um, so that is uh, what we're talking about. So that... We do that in conjunction with a new mode of discourse. So last week we did classification and division. You guys read that article on is there a formula for a good book and asked you guys to engage in discussion with one another uh, on how the author uses the uh, rhetorical mode of classification and division. And all we mean by that is breaking things down into smaller parts in order to understand the whole uh, a little more. Okay, so he breaks down the component parts of the formula for writing a good book, and he classifies each one, defines each one, okay? So today, uh, or for this week, we have a journal, so in the journal folder, on the mode of discourse, classification, and division, asking you to comment on uh, that rhetorical mode uh, 
So uh, remember journals, you have to have a couple paragraphs, at least some of you don't do two paragraphs, so you won't get full credit unless you meet the word count and do uh, two paragraphs, meaning a paragraph, space, indent, another paragraph. Okay, that shows development between uh, ideas, okay? So that is what we have this week. Uh, classwork homework assignment, your redo on your narrative essay, okay? You make all the corrections, you get 100. I uh, average that against your, or with your original score, becomes your new score. That is gonna be due Sunday, the 24th. Due Friday is the journal on classification and division. And while I have uh, the announcement and the page up, let me just open up the journal right now just to make sure we all know what it is on. All right, do the 22nd here. All right, throughout this week, make an inventory. So this week, starting Monday, so you might want to get started on this soon. Make an inventory of instances during which you've used classification and division in order to make sense of a larger issue, situation, symbol, phenomenon, etc. How did the process help you understand what you needed to understand? Okay, so for example, I, I am in school, I have to make a, uh, a lesson plan uh, according to Florida's particular standards, uh, and I have to record data for students taking a pre-test and a post-test on a lesson, okay? So the whole is the um, the lesson plan, okay? Now there are component parts to that lesson plan, okay? So I could break down the lesson plan and define each part in order to understand the whole, okay? So if I were you, just looking at something going on in my own life, I would uh, use uh, as my example, my lesson plan assignment, okay? And I would break it down according to the component parts. And then I would say how breaking that down helps me understand, excuse me, <coughs> helps me understand the overall assignment better. It doesn't have to be an assignment. Uh, it could be a conversation that you have with somebody. How would you break that down into uh, individual component parts? Um, a movie you watched, let's say, okay? I watched a movie last night i love halloween uh the holiday and the movie um but i watched a scary movie called uh the empty man if you guys like scary movies i do recommend it uh it's it's pretty good um if i were to break that movie down i would break it down in terms of themes okay it's very thematically rich movie a lot of ideas going on so if i wanted to understand uh, that movie better i'd break it down according to the different themes that are going on in the movie and i'd give a little description on each one of those themes uh so yeah um by the way if you have any scary movie recommendations uh you could email me just just for fun um i'm, I'm open to it uh recommendations for me malignant is kind of silly but uh, a very fun uh horror movie uh, by James Wan, who did the Conjuring movies. Um, Empty Man is awesome. Uh, it's it's kind of long, but uh, it's it's really if you like cult movies, cult horror movies, which I really like, uh, that's your bag right there. Um, series uh, Midnight Mass was pretty good. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, wasn't too didn't really know what to make of the the, the ending. I had some questions about it. Um, Mike Flanagan, who did uh, Haunting of uh, Hill House and uh, Haunting of Bly Manor, uh, does Midnight Mass. Um, and yeah, I got I to gotta watch the new Halloween Kills, which I heard is kind of lame, but whatever. I love that franchise. Uh, my, one of my top five favorite movies of all time is the original 1978 Halloween. Anyway, getting off track, but just for fun, if you have any horror movie recommendations, I'm open. And uh, that's what we have for this week. Have a good week 10. Two assignments again, redoing, adding a page, and making fixes to your narrative essay. And there's a little uh, revise, edit, proofread uh, attachment in the announcements that you could look at to kind of help you uh, with that. That and your classification division journal. Journals due Friday. Redo of the essays due Sunday. All right, with that... I wish you adieu, and I will talk to you again next week with a regular announcement. All right, bye.